What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Frost BBM from IM Visuals. And today, I want to talk to you guys about Unreal Engine 5.4 and VDBs. As you may know, in previous versions, it was a complicated process to generate VDBs for your sequencer and your scenes. However, now in Unreal Engine 5.4, the VDB material is already made for you. All you have to do is create a material instance of it and then use it at your discretion. Come on, let me show you how to get it done. All right, what's going on, y'all? So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 5. And really quick, I'm going to show you over here uh, just how simple it is to get uh, VDBs into Unreal Engine. So if you come over to Jenga FX, if you come over to Jenga FX and download Embergen, you get a free trial. And then you get these presets and you can uh, bring over. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to create uh, the VDB here and then export it and then take it over into Unreal Engine. So you got a bunch of things to choose from. <clears throat> so I already have this. So as you can see, we got this as an emitter. Um, and then here in simulation, your emitter is right here. And you can play with the fuel rate if you want more fire. If you want more smoke, you come to smoke rate. Uh, add clamped. I don't want it clamped. I want to be able to manipulate it. Um, more fuel, bigger fire. You know what I mean? But this is going to be a torch. So. We don't need it to be crazy, but I want some smoke coming off of this. All right, there you go. So all you're gonna do is once you, you find the one you want, and now right here under volume process, you see VDB, pull this out, export VDB, and then you come down here. You're gonna go into your directory where you want it at, select your folder, and then select the amount of frames that you want. So then you set it right here, how many amount of frames you want. And then just export. It'll take a minute to export. And then you just come over here into your content drawer. We can actually close this. So now over here and back in Unreal Engine, you'll create a folder for all of your VDBs. So for a fire, so what you'll do is you'll come over here to where you uh, sent your, your exported file, right? And I'll bring this one in. And all you do is you'll take the, the first frame from your VDB sequence and drag it in. And then just click import. So you have your two values, density and flames, because I'm bringing in a different fire one just so I can show you the process because I already have torch in. And then you just import it and give it a minute and let it run. And then I'll show you the next step. All right, so now that the VDBs are in, you're gonna come up here to all and then type in sparse volume. And we want to go down to sparse volume, sparse volume. It's right here. Sparse volume texture, or is it sparse volume material? I'm sorry, sparse volume material is what we're looking for. So they have already created the material for us for the VDB material. So all you're going to do with this is you're going to right click this, create a material instance, and then name it. <clears throat> whatever you want to name it. I named mine SVT. So we can name it SVT, SVT underscore two. And now it's going to disappear because we need to change our search to SVT. So now it's here. <clears throat> All we're going to do is go up to where we have our materials at and then just move it over here. Click move and then open this up. And now here it is. Now, in order to get your VDB into your scene, you need to come up here and add a place actor and type in HE. 
and type in HET, heter heterogeneous volume. Close this. And now inside of your heterogeneous volume, <clears throat> right here for your element, we're going to type in SVT and then put in 2. Playing and looping. Okay. So because it's an explosion, it starts with nothing. So you got to keep playing and looping. You see these boxes, these lines on the side, that's because remember, the, uh, the voxel count needs to be wider because it pretty much creates a box and nothing goes outside of that box. But uh, as you can see, we have a VDB right here inside of Unreal Engine. It's just that simple. It's really simple. And now another thing you can do is you can double click on this material and which is going to bring up your screen over here and now you can you should be able to mess with your parameters our beta, our black body our density, here we go we can make it more dense, less dense you know, but this is pretty much for the whole overall shot uh, black body scale, black body temperature, that's for the fire. Um, let me see, albedo color. Gotta wait for it to start over to really get a feel for what each parameter does. That's gonna be the base color. Let's see, albedo scale. And color, you can change and manipulate the color of the smoke. So you can pretty much offset the color of the smoke, whatever color you want it to be. All right, so that's basically it. Um, you can bring in various types of VDBs. Oh, let me show you how simple it is to switch out these VDBs. So you just go to your material and inside of your instance, you just change it. And now we have a cloud. Uh, or now we have the torch. You see? It's just as simple as that uh, fire plume. Now this is perfect to be able to show you uh, some of the parameters. So black body scale. Let's, let's start off with density. First of all, make it more dense. Our black body temperature, we want to bring it down because this is how you manipulate the color of the fire, the intensity of the fire. Or uh, black body scale is how much, you know, look how orange this gets or turn it off if all you want is fire smoke. Like this would be dope for a twin towers type of situation. Re uh, you know, uh, reenactment simulation um, then your albedo scale for your smoke is here and you can play with the color you know, manipulate the colors Obviously, you know, you can play around with the colors if you want this to be 
like this would be dope for like a, a flare, a smoke flare. And just make it smaller. This could be like a smoke flare. <clears throat> no, so the fact that we have these now right here, let's go with this, bring this black body temperature down. Let's bring the density down a little bit. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Now you should be able to go in and create your own, you know, effects using VDBs, clouds, fire, smoke, etc. Hopefully you guys learned something today. And as usual, it's your boy Frost BBM from I Am Visuals. Stay creative. Let's go.